guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so one of the things that i got a question for is how i defend my town um obviously the first thing that you need is a wall um you don't need anything fancy you could even do a one block but having some extra room for them to stand on and having extra points to actually come up to is really important so i try to keep a couple checkpoints around i'll have this one over here so it's a little bit easier for people to get up over that wall but it's not so much the top of the part that is really important it's the way that you situate your gate and this has been around since i started playing the game um when settlers try to build things i don't know if we'll be able to see over here but generally what they try to do is they try to build at certain rotations. So in this case, uh, because there isn't any other option, they were placing it on the other side. So basically they were placing on these blocks back here. Um, we might be able to lower the part down just so we can see the thing. So basically there will be placing because there's no other options to get over on this side. But if there was an option for them to stand here, then they would automatically build on this side. Same goes with walls and other blocks. If they can place it a specific rotation, then they'll try to do that. Um, in this case, uh, the easiest way to test for that is just by placing down a couple wooden walls. And all you need to do is basically place something like this and make sure that both the angles on this side and that side and this side and that side are basically available and once they've done that just fill in those gaps fill one right in here wait for them to build that after these ones are all built and then it should show you what side they'll actually build on um and after you've done that just basically go ahead and build your gate so in this case they will build on the inside over here you want them to build on the inside not the outside or they'll be pretty much doomed from actually rates and stuff so i don't know what the other side is so we actually will test this theory out with this mechanics here um probably in the next clip and we'll just wait for them to build that up and then we can figure out what direction i might want a second gate on so we'll use that theory and i'll explain a little bit more once i get that part done but the important part is having this block right here clear so you can basically build a wall and just having some wood nearby really helps too so i have a high priority um wood pile so they just grab from that and then build up the wall when there's a raid i make sure everyone's inside though first
Alright, so I was talking about how to get the um, actual parts built and test what side they build on. So the important thing is basically getting these two pillars basically built first. And as you can see, he's already chosen this side, which is the same side that we want him to build on the gate. Um, that was completely normal by design. Uh, he was, he, they'll generally pick a side to stand on. So once we get that, um, basically they can't stand on these sides anymore because those two blocks are there. So what we can do is we can tell them to basically build there. He's going to go eat at the moment, but uh, we can go ahead and tell maybe this guy to build this up. And we'll see um, basically what side he stands on so we know what gate side we need to basically build on whatever side that he stands on is going to be the inner part of the uh the gate so you would have to choose something on one of those sides either that side or this side depending on where the gate is now if it's on this side that he stands like this side over here which i don't think it's going to i think the other lady that was working on this one here stood on this side so we'll probably have to put a gate over on that side but uh, let's just wait until somebody comes back here to build this, and then we'll see basically um, what side they stand on. It shouldn't take them too long. Uh, getting ready for construction. I think he... No, I don't know who's going to be coming that way. Sylvester is working on that. No, somebody's already working on that. All right, so... I don't know why he had to travel halfway across the map just to uh, build that. We'll speed it up so they'll get over here a little bit quicker. Hopefully he'll make it in time. It looks like he's going to be standing on this side though, from what it looks like. He'll be coming over around this way, not the other side. Yeah, so he's going to stand on this side to basically build it. So we would be able to put a gate anywhere on this side over here, as long as it's facing this wall. Um, if we're doing something on this side, though, it's a little bit more complex because we then need to figure out which side of the gate we need to actually build on. Um, having a door like that wouldn't be the greatest because that will basically tell them to build on the inside, which will basically doom them. Um, we could build on this side, which would work, but we can't build over here. So that's the only downside to this mechanics um, is you have to kind of pick and plot out which side you need to work on. But this is basically the easiest method to figure out what side you need. Um, it's worked for me all throughout.
All right, so I started construction on the bridge over here on this side. Uh, I noticed that they actually used this path a lot more than using this one. So uh, because we have the barn and stuff over here, I think it would probably be best to make sure that we keep it over as close as to the original uh, thing. You can kind of see where they actually started using the stairs and stuff to go over. So it's pretty much where they need to have a path I think as long as it goes this way it should be fine and the other bridge is just about done they have some dirt that they need to fill in on the side and the top but uh, that's pretty much it it looks like it's pretty much done it's just a little bit of work left to do but everything's measured in five blocks so when I do use the development tools to fill this area what I'll basically end up doing is um, making sure that it just goes along the lines here. I'll probably pause the game. I'm not sure how it works, but as long as it's paused, it should be fine and I can take as much time as I need. So that's the idea at least. Hopefully it will be done by the end of the episode. If not, then I'll take a screenshot of when it is done. And like if this is if the end of the season, I'll post it on the community tab for my channel so you guys can see what it looks like after I've actually added the water. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to actually f fill everything in with the building construction projects and stuff that I want to complete. But um, as you can see, it basically looks really good with the, the bridge design that it, we do have. So uh, it's just a matter of getting these two ones done and then messing around with the uh, dev tools for the game. But... Um, because the odd shape, it might take a little bit more time to do. Especially in this little area right here. Because I don't want to flood our basement. Uh, our cellar over here. So I have to be really careful how I do it. Because if I were just to select from here all the way over, it will for sure flood our basement. Or our cellar. So that won't be good. So I'll have to do it in like sections, I think. And while I'm at it, I might as well flood a few other things around the map as well. Like, not so much this because we still need it. Actually, we probably need to mine some stuff in here as well. There's looks like there's some gold and stuff, so we'll, we'll not flood that one. Uh, what about this one? Um, eh, could probably get away with flooding this one. It looks like there's just some salt down there, so we don't really need the salt. Um... Yeah, we could probably get away with flooding flooding this one and have a little lake here as well. We'll work on that, probably. Uh, So I 
we're first day of spring as well. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got most of the bridge done uh, for this one, and then we just have one more bridge that we're working on. So it'll take a couple more, probably a couple more days of recording in order to get that done. But um, yeah, after that, I think what we'll do is we'll start focusing on uh, getting some of the wall built on this side, and we'll see if we can't get a second gate built in here. But um, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.